Hello, everybody, and welcome to Art with Roseanne. Today, we're doing some under the sea projects. So for the first project, you're gonna need paper. I see most of my friends have already cut out their sea stars and they're ready to go. If you don't have paper, you can use a white paper plate. Look at that. You're gonna need some bubble wrap. I have little pieces, but if you have a big piece, that's even better. Some tape to tape it down. A marker, if you haven't drawn yours yet. And I'm using a big tray to put my bubble wrap on so I don't make a big mess on my table. And then you're gonna need some paint. So I have red, yellow and blue paint. Those colors are called primary colors. So let me change my view so you can see what I'm doing. Hold on my friends. There we go. Okay, let me move this back. All right, so step one, we're going to tape our bubble wrap down. I'm using a tray. If you have, I also have a plastic table cover. You can tape it onto that wherever you're working. So I'm going to tape a big piece down to hold it in place while I paint on it. Press it down. And this just makes it easier to paint the bubble wrap instead of trying to hold it still. It gets a little tricky doing it that way. And put a piece here. And press it down. And a piece here. And a piece over here. All right, now it's ready. Okay, so then I'm gonna bring my paint over. Red, yellow, and blue. And I just have these kind of paint brushes, whatever kind you have, should work fine. And I'm gonna start with yellow. And I'm gonna paint. Put some yellow here, right on the bubble wrap. And then I'll get some blue. Hmm, maybe I'll put some blue here. And this part's fun, just painting on the bubble wrap. I'm watching the bubbles turn colors. Ooh, my green, I'm making green with blue and yellow, look at that. See if you can make some new colors while you paint. Oh, I need to put some red on here. Let me get my red. Maybe I'll put some red over here. All over. Now I saw most of you already had your sea stars cut out. That is awesome. If you don't have it cut out, you can always draw one and normally they have five arms but some have even more than that one two three four five and then you're going to take your paper and you're going to press it on top and rub it. Hmm, I wonder what it's going to look like when I lift it up. Let's see. One, two, three. Wow, look at that. I see some green. I made some purple over here with the red and blue. And mine's a little wet. 
So I'm gonna wait for it to dry to cut it out. But I see most of you already have yours cut out, so they're ready to go. So you can let them dry. And the fun thing about this project is you can do it as many times as you want. So if you want, you can wipe it off with a baby wipe and start over, or you could even just put another piece and see what happens. Also, there are other sea creatures that have scales and texture on them. So, hmm, let's think. Fish have scales. Maybe you can draw a fish and print that with a bubble wrap. Or, ooh, crocodiles are really bumpy. I wonder if anyone can draw a crocodile and print it too. So there's lots of things you can do with bubble wrap and painting. You could even just do regular paper and test it out and see what happens. So that's our first project. For our next project, I'm gonna read a book first. So we can learn about some sea creatures and get some inspiration for our next project. It's called Somewhere in the Ocean. And it's by Jennifer Ward and TJ Marsh. It's illustrated by Kenneth J. Sengler. So he drew all the pictures in this book. He's the artist. And artists that work on books are called illustrators. They make all the pictures. Let me move this a little bit closer so everyone can see. Somewhere in the ocean where the warm waters run lived a mother manatee and her little calf one. Nibble, said the mother, I nibble, said the one, so they nibbled sea lettuce where the warm waters run. These are called manatee. Somewhere in the ocean, in the waters clear and blue, lived a pod of orca whales and their little calves, too. Splash, said the mother, sweet splash, said the two, so they jumped and they splashed in the waters clear and blue. And you could keep painting if you want while I'm reading. It's fun to listen and paint at the same time. Somewhere in the ocean, in a sea anemone, lived a mother clownfish and her baby fish, three. Nestle, said the mother, we nestle, said the three, so they nestled safe and snug in their sea anemone. Somewhere in the ocean, in a tide pool by the shore, lived a mother hermit crab and her baby crabs four. Dress, said the mother, we dress, said the four, so they trod on different shells in their tide pool by the shore. Somewhere in the ocean where the kelp forests thrive lived a raft of sea otters and their baby otters five. Munch, said the mothers, we munch, said the five, so they munched prickly urchins where the kelp forests thrive. Somewhere in the ocean where the seas and rivers mix lived a mother tiger shark and her little pup six. Cruise, said the mother, we cruise, said the six, so they cruised and they hunted where the seas and rivers mix. Look at those sharks. Somewhere in the ocean where the sea grass grows so even lived a father seahorse and his wee baby seven. Hold on, said the father, we hold on, said the seven, so they held and they swayed where the sea grass grows so even. Somewhere in the ocean where the water shimmers late lived a mother sea turtle and her baby turtles eight. Paddle, said the mother. We paddle, said the eight. So they paddled in the moonlight where the water shimmers late. Somewhere in the ocean drifting slowly in a line lived a mother jellyfish and her baby jellies nine. Zap, said the mother. We zap, said the nine. So they zap tasty tidbits as they drifted in a line. Somewhere in the ocean, in a coral reef den, lived a mother octopus and her little babies ten. Squirt, said the mother. We squirt, said the ten. So they squirted and they played in their coral reef den. The end. So in this book, we learned about lots of different, different sea creatures. We learned about clownfish. Ooh, there was even some coral growing. A hermit crab manatees, jellyfish, kelp, 
octopus, orcas, sea turtles, sea horses, sea anemone, sea urchins, and even tiger sharks. So what we're gonna do next is to make an under the sea picture. So let me switch to my other view again so you can see what I'm working on. There we go. And I'm going to leave this open to the picture with the different sea creatures so I remember them. And if you know any sea creatures, you could think of them too while I'm getting ready. So I'm going to use a white piece of paper. And I have some crayons. I have a black Sharpie marker. If you're older and your parents let you use Sharpies, you can use a Sharpie. I have some sand left over from a sand art project. If you have a sandbox, you can use sand from there, but you don't really need sand, it's optional. I have some glue, some shells I found from the beach. Again, if you don't have shells, that's okay. And I have watercolor paints. If you don't have a set like this, you can use food coloring in water, or if you have liquid watercolors, you can use those. I have them in little containers. So what we're gonna do first is think of what sea creatures do we wanna make in our ocean? So this paper is gonna be like our ocean. So you know what, first, maybe I'll make the ocean floor. I'm just going to do a line across like that. And this is going to be the bottom of the ocean. And then this will be the water up here. So maybe I'll make a clownfish. And I'm looking at the picture and the clownfish has like an oval shaped body and some fins. So I'm going to draw an oval and then it has a tail fin that's kind of round and a fin on top and a fin on the side and then he has an eye and a mouth and there's some stripes Ooh, it's right back here. And yours might look different than mine, and that's okay because everybody draws different ways. I'm gonna add some coral into my picture. And coral is like a bunch of big lines, right? So I'm just gonna draw a line going this way, a line going this way, a line going this way. And you know what? I'm going to make mine different on the picture. I'm going to add a line over here, a line over here. And it looks a little bumpy. So I'm going to add some dots. Let's make it bumpy. And then let's see who lives on the bottom of the ocean? The hermit crab. So I'm going to draw a shell. And the shell looks kind of round. So I'm just going to make a round shape. And then, ooh, look at all those legs coming out. Let's count them. One, two, three, four legs and two big pinchers. Ooh, look at those pinchers. And two more legs. And then he has big eyes coming up. All right. Um, let's see, maybe I'll add jellyfish. So jellyfish have kind of like an umbrella shaped top and then little squiggly lines coming down. And I'm gonna make mine a happy jellyfish. I'm gonna add a face. 
Okay. So if you have glue and sand, you can add the glue on the bottom. I'm just gonna do a little corner. So if you have it, you can see, and then if you don't have it, I'll show what you can do instead. I'm gonna add a shell too. So for the shells, you want a good little puddle of glue. You can hold your shell down. One, two, three, four, five. And then if you have sand, you can just sprinkle it on your glue. And then, where did my plate go? I'm going to use my paper plate to get the extra. There we go. So I shook off the extra sand, and then I'll just save the extra for another day. All right, now if you don't have sand, you can just use paint. I'm gonna move my book out of the way, and bring my watercolors over, and I'm gonna get a brush. You wanna have a little cup of water on the side too to clean your brush in between colors. I'm gonna get my brush wet and then I'm gonna get, maybe I'll use some orange for the bottom like sand. And you can paint in the bottom. Oh, I forgot to say too, if you have crayons, you can use crayons to cut, to add fish to, or to draw your fish if you can't use, if you don't have a Sharpie. So I'll draw, maybe I'll draw a sea star down here. And I'm drawing fast, so it's okay if you don't draw as fast as I am. Okay, I'm gonna get some orange. And the fun thing about the crayon is if you paint over it, <gasps> look at that comes through. Crayons are made out of wax and the paint can't cover the wax. It's the wax resists the paint. There's my bottom. Maybe I'll get a different color for my horseshoe crab. Not a horseshoe crab. What is that? Hermit crab. Silly. I'm going to paint a shell of pink. And then if I want to change colors, I wash my brush in the water and then I get a new color. Let me get some green. What a fun crab. And then I'm going to paint my clownfish. Kind of looks like Nemo, right? Orange. Made the stripes white. The fins. Maybe I'll do the back fin red. I'm going to change it up a little bit. There we go. You can even paint colors on top of other colors. All right. And then I'm going to do my coral. Get this color. Maybe I'll add some pink to it also. Watercolors are fun because they kind of about bleeding together. The colors mix and run together. So it's fun to watch as you do it. And then I'll paint my jellyfish. Hmm, what color should I do it? I'll do it yellow. All right, I have all my creatures in there. Maybe I'll use a crayon to add some bubbles. So 
Bubbles are just circles, right? Got some bubbles there. Some bubbles all over. And then when I paint over them, we'll be able to see them. Let's see. I got some blue for my water. We'll paint it all in. And again, you can make your picture however you want. You can have different sea creatures. You can do the shark. I forgot to do the shark. What else did we learn about the manatee? You can look up some sea creatures on Google, maybe a grown-up can help you. If you want to learn about some other sea creatures. Ooh, look, my colors are mixing. And maybe you have different colors than me, and that's okay. You'll have different supplies at home. All right, so keep painting until you fill the whole thing. It's a painting challenge. Fill up the whole space. All right, so there it is. Go back. All right, let me see. Did you guys make one too? I'll hold mine up again so everyone can see. So there's our under the sea picture. Ah, it's dripping. All right, and that's all for today, my friends. Thank you for joining me. And I'll look at you guys working so hard. I'm so proud of all your hard work. And I'll see you not next week. Next week, we don't have art the week after in July. Okay, friends? Have a great day. We'll see you soon.